Alright y'all, so in the other video, the Plan B video, uh, we initially went for a hike a little bit further out, and uh, as soon as we got to the trailhead, realized that I was leaking fluid right behind the pulley here, uh, which is where the spindle and the bearing and the seal for the impeller that turns your water pump with your fan. Uh, so, did a little investigating and realized I couldn't get to it on trail side. Uh, I carry a bottle of, it was a Prestone Super Sealer, uh, ran that through for about 10 minutes. It still seemed to be leaking, um, but you know, just drops, no huge streams or gushing of water. So we figured at that point we could probably make it back down the mountain closer to a town. And if you can hear, what I'm doing is I've got the peacock valve open and I'm draining out all the, uh, the fluid. I don't have a spot here to actually uh, flush it, which is what I'd like to do. Um, so we're going to drain this, and uh, what I'm going to do here is pull the upper radiator hose off. I've already loosened up the shroud, and I think I'm just going to undo it from the front water pump. Not the housing, but just the pump, and uh, bring the whole assembly up, and then take the blades off when it's a little bit more easier. And then I don't know how to get the pulley off, so we're going to play with that. But uh, essentially, so the plan B water pump blues video is uh, was a trip we tried to take until I had this water pump issue. So this video is just going to be me screwing around and trying to figure out how to undo the uh, water pump and replace it. Now I did have a replacement already bought when I bought the truck that I never got around to putting on. So I already had replacement parts with gaskets and everything. Uh, and of course it was, you know, about 100 miles into town in the storage and I had the key for a storage so uh, this is what we're doing today all right got the pump off shot I just leaned up against there there's the fan take these four bolts off there's the back pump assembly that's essentially what we got all right you can see the old one uh, looks fairly original, although it does have the uh, stamped fins. Older models, I believe, had a cast fin, if I know correctly. Uh, so maybe this was replaced at one point by International um, with the newer ones because it's painted and everything seems to be on there. Got the pulley on the new one. Front's a little different, but should match up just right. We'll see. All right, without a partner here to hold the, uh, the camera, as you can see, we got the new one in there. Got the uh, pulley back up, alternator's tight. Got that silicone non-freezing gel I went ahead and put on uh, inside the upper radiator hose, which is the only hose I really took off. Um, one, especially on this cast iron, it tends to, uh, to rust a little bit, and then it seizes onto the rubber. So I'm hoping next time I you pull that off I can do it a little less violently um, again this took about an hour and a half I did it not with a shop I, I'm actually parked in the street um, you can see I use the tools that I keep behind the seat these are just my tools that I always have with me there's no special shop tools that I had a little ingenuity one thing I did do at the trailhead knowing that I was gonna have to take it off was I sprayed all the bolts a little WD-40. This is just a small one I keep in the truck. You know, I didn't have the, the larger can or anything. Um, but that way, all the way trip down there with the warm engine helps get that WD-40 into everything, especially with a 40-year-old truck. And again, I uh, I did use some of my Metris tools, but my little bag here that I have of all my stubbies gets me 90% of the way. Um, sometimes you need a little bit more torque or uh, a size I don't have in there, but this little stubby bag even if you only had that and uh, you know say like a screwdriver set I think you'd be in good shape again there's the old one and uh, here's that sill glide I was just mentioning works good on just about anything thanks guys uh, one quick thing this is the first time I've actually used these it's been on my seat for a while but uh, this was I think I don't know, a couple bucks. They're basically big old shop towels with a degreaser on them. And um, you pull them out just like any wet towel. 
and they work fantastic. You see my hands are pretty clean. I just wipe most of the grime off them, but that was just one towel and uh, they're pretty sturdy. Alright, we're going to get out the brakes. While it's still on the ground, I've come through and loosened the lug nuts so it'll be easier to break. Alright, now what I've done is I've placed a bottle jack underneath the leaf spring. Right behind it is the jack stand. As I lift this up, I'm going to raise up this part until it locks in. As high as it'll lock in. And as I raise it, I'm going to keep doing that. These little teeth on the side are going to catch. Alright, bottle jack has lifted it just enough so the tire is free. And the jack stand is on the closest locking nub. Sorry, I should have been filming that. Got the uh, caliper off. As you can see, that one's just fine. And the one that the cylinder pushes on the other side, uh, the rivets have let go from the shoe. So now, I gotta put some new shoes on this boy. Old style with the rivets. And to be fair, these were the cheaper pads that came when I bought the new calipers. They were already loaded. So I should have suspected something there because these are just going to be the cheapest thing I can put on here. You can see, first of all, difference in size. These aren't riveted. They're semi-metallic. And they already have a shim in there uh, to keep them quiet. So we're going to swap these out. Get your big fucking hammer. Also, I thought it was recording. Apparently not. Um, anyway, used uh, a clamp to push the piston back under the valve so the pressure could be released so this would push back. Um, you can't really see it, but that's all new brake pad there. There's the rotor, and then if you come over on this side, that's all new. And then what you missed was me knocking this locking bar back in and putting the set screw in and we're good to go all right let's set the tire back on there start the lug nuts by hand Just getting these just seated on there. 
not making them tight yet. Alright, once it's on the ground, we're going to go in a star pattern. Lock this one, then we're going to come across. This one. Top. Bottom. And you can repeat that to make sure they're all tight. 